All right, now we're going to uh, introduce our last honoree for the evening, uh, Greg Demetrio. <laughs> Greg is the CEO of Lorraine Gregory uh, Corporation, an award-winning marketing and communications company based in Farmingdale, New York. Greg has led in the growth and expansion of this business. Lorraine Gregory has earned numerous industry awards including the best direct mail company on Long Island, best customer service team, and the Hop Hog Industrial Association Business Achievement Award, and the Melville Chamber of Commerce Business of the Year Award. And it's a big family affair. Greg's wife is the executive vice president, his son is the CEOO, and his daughter Gina is the vice president of administration. But Greg didn't get his start there. In 1960, Greg was a native of Brooklyn and Queens, and in 1965, he was accepted as a trainee into the New York City Police Department. He attended the police academy, and afterwards he was assigned to the 23rd Detective Squad in East Harlem. And he had a good career, ended up going down to the Manhattan DA Squad. Now this is very personal to me because I've been a member of the New York City Police Department for the last 23 years. Greg, was uh, investigating a case with his partners, and they were in 1979, and they were involved in a shootout. We lost an officer that day, and Greg was shot, and almost smoothly wounded. Greg received the department's highest honor, the Medal of Honor, uh, the department's highest award, the Medal of Honor. Now. This, this award is so significant because probably about 80% 80, 80 of the time, this award is posthumously awarded. And to have a living Medal of Honor recipient here with us, I'm very honored. <laughs> move on. In 2008, Greg was named Fundraising Volunteer of the Year for the Association for Fundraising Professionals, later serving on their board of directors it was recognized with the 2013 Outstanding CEO Award for the Long Island Business News. Greg has also served on the Board of Advisors for the Long Island Community Foundation, an arm of the 2.2 billion New York Community Trust and Dolan Family Health Center of Huntington. He has participated and volunteered in numerous organizations, Beth Page Rotary Club, FOPs, the New York Direct Marketing Club, Long Island Association, Hop Park Industrial Association, and Chamber of Commerce in Farmingdale, Melville, and Queens. Greg is a proud father of six grown children. Greg Lorraine have three grandchildren, one great granddaughter. He enjoys business. He is nationally published author and business on marketing subjects, as well as a blogger on various line platforms. Greg's daughter, Gina, is going to say some words. Short and sweet. What a night. It truly warms my heart to look around the room, thank you, <laughs> and see the outpouring of support and love for the American Diabetes Association. All of us here deserve a round of applause, so I'd like to give you one before I begin my speech. My name is Gina Del Vicario, and I'm standing here representing my mother and my brothers to honor our father, Gregory P. Demetrio. Sometimes we get so caught up in the destination that we forget to appreciate the journey and all it has to offer. We neglect to realize that every day is a second chance to try again, and that true kindness and love can make all the difference. I'm sure you can agree that it takes a very strong, confident man to accept someone else's child or children and step up to the plate that another man left on the table. To take on the role of being father by choice, as my stepfather has done, especially when he had four boys of his own, to me, was unselfish and noble. With patience, dedication, and kindness, our father blended our families into one solid, strong unit because he decided to focus on the journey, give back, and make a difference. Maya Angelou once said, people will forget what you did. 
People who forget what you say, but people will never forget how you make them feel. I got a second chance with a father and four absolutely amazing, loving and caring brothers who are my best friends today. And that, my friends, feels incredible. And I speak for all of us children when I say that he's led by example. His actions throughout our lives prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are his heart. And tonight we are here to show him that he is ours. I'd like to share a little bit about what we appreciate, appreciate about the man that he is. Dad has given us a sense of unity, fulfillment, and pride. He taught us how to be empathetic. He gave us a sense of spiritual connection, humility, patience, trust, honesty, integrity, credibility, and dedication. He taught us how to recognize our blessings, to show gratitude, and give back to others. And I can say confidently that every single solitary member of our family, my mom, my brothers, aunts, uncles, sisters, cousins, both distant and far, have an absolute huge amount of respect and adoration for him. So tonight we pay homage and extend our love and gratitude for all he has done and continuously does for each and every one of us. It is with much love, respect, and appreciation that we represent our father and present him with the Father of the Year Award because no one in our eyes ever deserves anything more. Thank you so much. what to say after that. I'm not so sure that I uh, warrant some of those things that were said. Uh, some of it is just showing up every day and making sure that they understand that they're all loved. The rest of it just happens, I think. Uh, I'm, I always say I'm not the brightest bulb in the pack, so if I said it was a plan, it probably wouldn't be all that true. But they're smart learners, and uh, if I had any impact on that, I thank God for that. Uh, so, and that's uh, off script, so I'm gonna try and keep this brief because I know everybody's been speeched out tonight. I'd like to thank the American Diabetes Association, the Father's Day Council, Chairman Mike, Chairman Charlie, and uh, Christine and Lisa for all your hard work putting this beautiful night together. And I'd like to thank uh, Dennis, John, and Dr. Mike. It's been quite a journey to this night. I've always said that my childhood was probably the best in recorded history. Our house was always filled with laughter, warmth, love, Lots of surrogate parents, because several different branches of the family lived in this big house in Brooklyn at one time, so I had plenty of mothers and fathers. Uh, but because I see that, uh, with no recollection of disharmony or discord, it's really what reinforces my belief on how blessed I was then and how blessed I am now. Um, the early years are my foundation of who I am and it's the ideal by which I measure what it is to be a child or a family. When my daughter told me she had nominated me for this honor, uh, I was overwhelmed. To think that your children think of you in that way is probably the most you could, ex you know, you ever hope to achieve as a father. Uh, anything else is pale by comparison. I did write this out so I wouldn't have forget to talk about everything, but uh, if I achieve nothing else besides their love, 
I would have achieved more than I ever dreamt of. Standing here tonight, being honored by the American Diabetes Association, and by my children and my family and my friends, it all started with my father. And a large part of this honor belongs to him. My dad will always be one of the greatest men I've ever known. He only had an eighth grade education, worked blue collar jobs, two and three at a time sometimes to support us, yet he was larger than life. He was the one that everyone in the family looked up to. He was the one that everyone came to for guidance and advice. And he was the rock on which the family was built. And he was always there for others. When two of my cousins needed a home, my father and my mother opened theirs and brought them in and raised them as their own. So I actually have only one brother by blood, but I have two brothers by the love of my mother and my father. And my dad was that way. He was open and giving. And when you teamed him up with my mom, uh, they were very special indeed. Now, I've been very fortunate my whole life, and I consider myself blessed beyond measure. I often tell people that God put me on a really long leash when I was younger, but he never let go. He's had my back all the way, then and now. So I stopped worrying about too much a while ago. As a parent, you can't have favorites. And I'm sure you realize that's a good thing for me after you saw my crew. <laughs> they are all unique. They're all special. They're all different. They're all amazing adults in their own right. And my best times are when they're with me. But there's another reason that I'm here tonight and it's because my family's been impacted by diabetes. As I said it in the, in the video, I didn't realize I'm gonna be repeating myself, but I was 12 when I learned how to give my grandfather insulin injections. And shortly thereafter, I did them for my father as well. I was 14 when I lost my grandfather to diabetes. I was 27 when my father lost his 15-year fight with the disease at the age of 57. Both my parental grandparents were severe diabetics. In fact, my father's mother was blind and was a double amputee. Several other of my relatives, some of which are here tonight, are, are suffering with diabetes. But the thing I remember most about my dad was that the slow, slow killing disease that robbed him of his self-respect. Now, he was always a man's man and the disease progressed, he had difficulty making the, the, just, the physical adjustments that came along with it, particularly losing his eyesight. But even so, he did fight every inch of the way and did what he was able to do and he never gave up. So tonight is not about me, it's not about my father, it's not about my family, all of whom I love very much. It's about coming together to have an impact on the care and treatment for people struggling with this terrible disease. It's about moving the ball forward to the ultimate cure. Because the Diabetes Association, your support, and the support of hundreds and thousands of others before you, great strides have been made, research is advancing, and the hope is, is that the cure is right around the corner. So I thank my children, I thank my wife, I thank my family and my friends for their support. I thank my mom and dad for putting me on a path to this night. And I thank you all for being here tonight. God bless you all. Thank you.